Hey everyone, this is 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with a quick Weather Now update. We are tracking a few showers and storms off to the west in parts of Connecticut, but the big story, of course, has been the heat. We have reached day five of this heat wave. Temperatures all five days have reached into the mid-90s. Let's take a look outside. This is Newport. Again, hazy sunshine, warm, humid, and uh, it's been like that for the last several days and will continue for at least one more day on Tuesday. Uh, we have a heat advisory in effect through much of the day for another hot one on the way. Here Here's live radar. Again, I was mentioning those showers and storms off to the west. Nothing is severe, but, you know, we have some downpours coming our way, some thunder, some lightning. And uh, we'll be looking at those over the next couple of hours, make their way through the area. And they are weakening, though, so that is some good news. But we certainly do need the rain as we are in a severe drought. So we'll be hoping that these actually survive and make their way across uh, the state. Temperatures right now, you know, again, 80s in the coastal areas, 90s inland, 94 currently in Providence. We reached 95 earlier in the afternoon. New Bedford at 90, Taunton at 92. So, again, the heat remains uh, for today, heat index, that's what it feels like when you factor in the humidity and the heat. And you can see it feels like 103 right now in Providence, feels like 100 in New Bedford, and feels like 99 in Taunton. So the heat is still with us this afternoon and will continue at least again for Tuesday before we finally see some relief on the way. Observed highs again from uh, today, earlier this afternoon, most areas well into the 90s, except for the coast where those 80s held on. But no matter how you slice it, you know, the heat's been with us for the last several days and will continue for Tuesday. Heat alert. Uh, heat advisory in effect until Tuesday at 8 p.m. for the entire state of Rhode Island and southeastern Mass, including Martha's Vineyard, but not including Nantucket or Block Island. And again, that heat wave, like I mentioned, has continued the last several days, either 95 degrees or 96. The only day that reached 96 was on Friday. Uh, since last Thursday, though, we've been at 95, and tomorrow's forecast is for 94. And, uh, you know, how typical are these days of 90 degrees or higher you can see so far in 2022, we've had 14 days and uh, we've seen uh, the past couple of years uh, with, you know, 21 and 23 respectively in 2021 and 2020 for 90 degrees or higher. The average, though, is about 10 days each year. So that gives you just an idea of uh, just how long this heat's been around. We've had a couple uh, six day heat waves potentially if we get there tomorrow. Uh, we had one a couple weeks ago as well. So tomorrow's forecast again, main story is warm and muggy in the morning, hot and humid for the afternoon, afternoon uh, showers and storms possible, especially later on in the evening towards dinner time and points thereafter. And uh, some of those storms could produce heavy rain, gusty winds at times as well. Of course, during the heat of the day, it'll feel closer to 100 uh, across much of the area. Heat index forecast, here you go right here. As you can see, we go through uh, the motions here right through the afternoon hours. And I'm actually going to back this up a second just to show you at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, if I can actually go back there, I can't. But uh, we had triple digits, uh, you know, for the early part of the afternoon hours across much of the interior areas for this heat index forecast. But, again, uh, that's one more day. And then we have some relief on the way. Tonight's forecast, upper 70s, warm, humid, patchy, fog late, and a wind southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Any early showers or storms should move out pretty quickly uh, during the evening hours. And and again, tomorrow, a better chance of some showers and storms later on in the day, after dinner time, and then, and then into the uh, nighttime hours. And then actually beyond that, we have a few more chances of some rain and showers Wednesday and Thursday. And then finally, we break the heat, low 80s and uh, more comfortable humidity levels coming in for the end of the work week into next weekend. So thank you all for tuning in. I'll have another update later on. Thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.